All right, we got another old vintage RV to take a look at. An Argosy. Well, you're about to. This is Pancho de Argosy. Now this this is a wrap. I don't I'm pretty sure that was of the original RV scheme. I believe Argosy was an Airstream line. It was, a, it was the, lead, the the entry level Airstream trailer. There we go. Got a dinette, which converts into a bed. We got the sofa that's already laid out into the bed. Got a spacious kitchen for such a small rig. And that's the original countertop looks like. They took out the, the stove and put in a little microwave. Got some closet space. And a little bathroom. Little bitty bathroom. All right, but little bathroom is better than no bathroom, right? The Argosy. I don't know what model it is, but it's pretty nifty. I like I like the the curved doors. All right, let's go see another one. Well, by the way, in case you're wondering where I'm looking, I'm getting all this footage, I'm at Off the Vine RV Park in Heiko, Texas. We got another little travel trailer to look at. I don't even know what the, what this one is. And it's, it's really just a shell. If we can see, there's nothing in there, but there will be, I'm sure. It looks like they're in the process of retrofitting it I like that shape though it's reminiscent of a of a teardrop now what a bumper did they put on there very cool all right let's go see some more stuff <laughs> Man, we were just on a roll today. The Duchess Streamline. Now th this is going back to the space era. Big sign says, watch out for snakes. Look at the industrial shape of that air conditioner up there. Go we'll take a look inside. Now it's, it looks like it's been gutted, and the door's door's been whacked a couple times. I do have to be concerned about the condition of the floor. Look at that kitchen! Man, that's a lot of room for a kitchen. A living area. Old refrigerator I don't want to open that and then there's the bathroom kind of scary in there the Duchess streamline let's go see another one all right we got another old vintage RV to take a look at this one is an Airstream Check that out. I mean, they just don't make them like that anymore. And that may not be such a bad thing. <laughs> this is the land yacht. Of course, it's named Molly Mag Somebody named it Molly McGuire. The Globe Trotter. It 
it is a four seasons trailer or was and now it's just really well ventilated someone started a a refurb on it but they did not get very far along i don't know if, if it's safe yeah i'm not gonna i'm not gonna venture in there there's not much point we can get in there like this see that was the bed and bath back there let's go see if we can find another one welcome to dude rv Man, we are going old schooly. And I mean, really, old schooly. Check this out. This is so cool. This is like a hippie bush from way back when. I, I'm not exactly sure of the year, but we're, I'm, I'm thinking we're mid 50s, early to mid 50s. I really dig the way the, the sides kick in. But they did a roof lift on it. There's even an air conditioner. And we're, we're going to be brave and we're going to go inside. Man, that's just, that's just such a cool shape. There's a ladder on the back so you can get up on the roof. I, I do have concerns about the, the propane lines just running up. <laughs> oh we got a, a porch light check it out outside power all right you got to watch your step coming into this one man that that seat can you imagine driving across country in that seat now it has seen its better days it looks like the roof rays was was leaking but i really like the what what they did with what they had at the time that's an rv magic chef refrigerator that's a gas lantern big old cupboard two-way power refrigerator it smells like urine <laughs> probably that old nasty mattress getting wet lots of possibilities here if the roof leaks could be addressed they need to be addressed pretty quick I, I can see this being a really really neat short drive rv I, I couldn't see driving a real long distance with this i mean <laughs> talk about that'd be a burning man rig right there <laughs> what an avion is well an avion looks a lot like an airstream that's kind of boxy and pregnant This was a Texas RV manufacturer. Not exactly sure when they were operational, but I know this one was, people were dragging this one around in the 70s, and I'll show you how I know. This is the Avion La Grande, La Grande. Just so cool. Gonna have a little more headroom than, than an Airstream, I think. What's up with that? That's a that's a heavy chunk of steel. I bet this is not a lightweight travel trailer. So this was running around in the 76, 77, and 78 going to rendezvous of some kind. There's no step here, so bear with me while I get in. Well, there's a lot of headspace in here. You have two tables. Looks like maybe that just is a bench. I don't know. Let's 
So this one has double twins. Interesting. Big old pantry. Look at that. Put a lot of food in there. A lot of storage for a small trailer. Big closet. And then, we, once again, we have oh, actually a, a decent sized bathtub in there. You could really take, take you can take a bath. For, for real. Now what's really cool is, is all of these have latches on them. It's not just spraying clips. This is, this is neato. The Argosy. Named Rosie. Very neat. Look at that fancy chandelier. Woohoo! We're high tech now. We're fancy. All right! All right, all right, all right! Hey, if you enjoyed our brief tour of these vintage RVs our tour of these five RVs please click on the thumbs up please click on the thumbs up button and if you've not already please click on the subscribe button I post new content every Sunday morning 10 a.m. lots of stuff going on around here at Dude RV for those of you who have been following along thank you I'm so deeply honored that's why I do what I do all right y'all come back now you hear